That first start was so inviting into the treble bed there for Steve Brown, the man who opened up day two as the new group favourite. Exist to required 12. When he produced against David Kerwin a couple of matches ago. And now it's going to be the madhouse for Brown. His opponent's not on a Game finish. On the first leg. Doesn't Steve matter. Brown. The bomber leads 1-0. Stevie required 20. That's always my concern with Jim that he's going to end up dragging darts low. I do think he hit the equipment on, on the that occasion leg. as well. Steve I don't Brown. think that was just a complete drag down of the dart. Threw his hand at the board in dismissiveness almost. But that was at the, the performance rather than the result. And we are in a results-based business. Well, there's a bit Steve of urgency in the situation. Perfect dart there for Steve Game Brown. Shot on the third leg. He's Steve fancied Brown. that was an invitation to the tops. Jim, you require 40. Jim's had two darts at a double in this match so far, been unable to convert. He was at tops. Game shot on the fourth change leg. Change of scenery Jim does Meyer. well for Jim. And he gets himself back in this game. It was only a holder throw. He's going to need to break Steve Brown on a couple of Did occasions Steve here. To throw first. Straight Steve for it, or is it split? 18. Game, sure. Straight for and it, match. straight Steve in. Brown. And Steve Brown continues his trend, which he followed yesterday, opening up with a defeat. Then he went on a run of four wins, improving as the day went on. And there's one of them. Is he going to continue that throughout the day? He joins Rennie Adams at the top of the table. But coming up next, we've got Tom Becker and Davy Kirkwin.